everybody, my name is Dr. Sandman and I hope that all of you are doing great. I'm going to show you the process of a DIY project. I want to make a, an entire outfit, an entire look inspired by the album Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge by My Chemical Romance, which is my favorite band. And of course you can't have a complete outfit without a jacket and I like to go um, too far <laughs> with my jackets. I like to over decorate them. If you've seen some of my other jackets, um, <coughs> some of my other jackets I've won that I've worked hard on. I'm going to start off with this um, gray, gray, almost black um, denim jacket. I wanted to get one that was just black, but I couldn't find one. Um, so I just have this very plain denim jacket. I want it to be very hyper three cheers themed. Um, I want it to be so revengey and I would like to take you along. So I hope that you enjoy the video. Continue watching. Please. My, my view count is so low. Please watch this. I am in the process of painting the demolition lovers on the breast pockets. Um, I'm using just regular acrylic paint. Uh, it's Liquitex um, and GAC 900. Let me show you the bottle. Uh, this is what it looks like. You can get it at Michael's. And I'm mixing equal parts, and then I am just painting the Demolition Lovers as they appear on the album. And then uh, with GAC 900 and acrylic, you just need to heat set it, which you could do just by putting in the dryer for 30 to 40 minutes. I just finished a couple hour session working on this. It looks a little warped because of like the angles and stuff and it's not a flat surface entirely but I painted Helena um and poison and pills as a reference to thank you for venom I have a croquet some croquet mallets and a clay ball I don't know the technical word um and some bats and um yeah I'm taking a break for right now because I spent so long working on that as my cat he's been helping of course so there's a part of the jacket that I really want to have um you know, back in the day during the Revenge era when they had uh, the uh, Ring of Fire armbands, or the, the design was called Ring of Fire, the, the MCR logo with the circle of guns around it. I really want to have that for the jacket, but it's too hard to actually paint it on the sleeve because I'm not going to put a full armband, but I wanted that on the sleeve because that's where the um, logo was originally put, or at least the most popular version of it. So instead of painting it right up on the sleeve, I took an extra bit of fabric and painted it on the fabric. And it looks kind of terrible. I also tried finding uh, patches of it on the internet because I didn't want to paint it because it was going to take too long. <sighs> and I couldn't find anything. So um, I guess I, I, I just ended up uh, painting it myself. And it looks a little struggle bus, especially, um, especially... <laughs> right up in this corner looks so terrible but um it it's fine you know it's 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 fine um it the further away if you stand from it that like it still looks like what it's supposed to be but it's, it doesn't look as bad farther away um just don't look at it up close but that's what i'm doing at the moment currently just sewing on this patch it's a little bit more difficult because it's on a sleeve but i'm doing my best so it's turning out pretty um mediocre so far which is more than I hoped for. So I just finished painting everything that I need to paint on the jacket, all the lyrics, all the pretty pictures and uh, things like that. Um, uh, the, it's not perfect but I, I like it enough and I'm gonna put it in the dryer at the laundromat for um, 40 minutes. That's how long it needs to set. If you're using the dryer method you could also use um, an iron. Um, for a different amount of time, I don't remember, but it says on the bottle of GAC 900 um, how long for um, for each method. So I'm going to be putting it in the dryer. So I know it'll probably literally be fine, but in case I go to heat set it and it comes out wrong for whatever reason, I want to show the pristine beauty of it. If this comes out of the dryer looking like ass, I'm going to be devastated. Anyway, um, <laughs> I worked really hard on it. So for the next thing, I'm adding this red lace around the at least half of the collar. Um, the problem being that I only have orange uh, threads, so I'm going to remedy that by covering it with these gunmetal um, pyramid studs. 
So um, the jacket looks fine. It's not ruined after I took it out of the uh, dryer. It's all set. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Um, I already started um, adding on different details and I'll show you them later. Um, today is the first day of um, MCR's tour back. I'm really excited. I'm wearing uh, my old shirt from high school um, to celebrate. Uh, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm just having a good day. <laughs> their, their new song released and I'm I'm over the moon. Finish the lace uh, trim on half of the collar. I'm going for the whole asymmetry look. Um, and that looks fine. And then I put the studs over. I'll show you. They look really good. This is what it looks like so far. I ruched the um, the lace. I like pinched it up so it wouldn't look flat. Um, and I really like it. I thought it was going to do a horrible job. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but um, I like how it turned out. Um, I did do a terrible job lining these up. Lining these up. But um, I feel like unless you stare at it, up close um you're not gonna care um or unless you're me you're not gonna care i just want to show you some of the things that i got for the jacket um some of them i got from redbubble um if you guys know redbubble it's the best um service known to man <laughs> it's um where you can find anything you want on merch um and i got a couple buttons some of the buttons i made and one of the patches i got i got from what's their twitter name i think it's bats are punk um, on Twitter and they might have a, have a TikTok too. So, um, I, I'll link them below, but I got, um, a patch from them that I'm in love with. So I'll show you guys those. This is the patch from Bats or Punk and it's so holographic. It, you can't see it, um, how holographic it is on camera, which is fine, but it's super nice. Um, I sewed it on and I uh, also don't tell anybody I put on some uh, crazy glue on the back because I have very bad luck with patches so I want to make sure that it stays on and it is an iron-on patch but I've never been able to iron on a patch and just have it stay I, I like I've never been successful with that I don't know what it is I don't like iron-on patches so I just sewed it on and put some uh, like Gorilla Glue behind it and it's it's staying you know it's it's staying so i'm happy with that and then we have the pins that i got from redbubble uh this one um is the opening to the i'm not okay music video um and if you just um search uh, my chemical romance or three cheers for sweet revenge on redbubble these will come up and uh this one uh is uh, lyrics to the jets that life is gonna kill you um and i really like the design so yeah so now i'm at the phase where i am adding the rosaries to um the sleeve i'm attaching them right at the line where the sleeve meets up with the rest of the jacket um for for this it was a string rosary so i just cut it off and these actually are like stuck i thought the um thread was gonna slip through um, but it's stuck on each bead, so that, so my solution was just put the ring around, um, the, uh, the largest bead so it wouldn't go through. And these are just, um, little, uh, jewelry hoops that I, uh, that I, um, twist open and then slide through the jacket, which is easy enough, it goes through just fine. With the, uh, this one, it had metal uh, hoops on it, so I just un unhooked them and looped it around. That was pretty easy. And um, I used uh, these little uh, razor blade beads, um, or beads, or charm charms, I guess. Um, and I switched out one of the crosses wi with the razor blade um, for their lyric from the razor shoot from the razor to the rosary. Um, this one I left as is, and I think I'm going to add one more that's just going to be a cross. Um, I might use more razor charms other other places on the jacket. I might not. It might just be this one, uh, but so far that's, that's how it's going. And with this one, I don't like the yellow beads, so I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to tie it to um, another uh, bracelet that I, that I found. Um, and then I'm going to attach it with the hooks again. So I'm cutting, I have my little knife here, um, that's kind of broken. And I'm cutting it right, um, right here, so. 
and then oh yep the beads fell off just fine that's what i was hoping for and then i'm going to tie it onto the um, bracelet so i am a big stupid idiot and forgot to film this entire process but i made these buttons um i made four of them and that's what they look like and uh, i didn't film this process at all, at all but basically what i did was i took um bottle caps um i did not drink this beverage in case you're wondering uh, my boyfriend did um and i bent a, a like a, a tab like a, a sort of tab just a little bit right there and then i uh pinched the sides to make it stay and i also put some like um gorilla glue just to make sure it was extra safe and then what i did was i printed out um the pictures that i wanted and i did them in varying sizes because um I didn't know how big they were gonna be when I printed them out and so I painted the sides of it the sides of the soda cap or bottle cap or whatever um in different colors because I knew that the picture wasn't gonna take up the entire surface and then I glued it on with I think glossy accents no no um wait yeah yeah no, with super glue. Um, and then I covered it with glossy accents just so it would be glossy, you know, and also so it would be a little bit more secure. And then I put um, safety pins in the back. I put the the large head bit through, um, through the center and then I pushed it further so the head was kind of like brushed up against uh, the back. Um, kind of, ugh. Kind of like that so it's kind of like wedged in the edge there and um and that's how i finished them off it's official i'm finished with my my chemical romance three cheers for sweet revenge inspired jacket i started it in like i think either december or january and it is august i did finish it in july it's it's just the beginning of august so i'm filming this but um, I, I finished it and I'm so happy with it. Um, it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I've never made <laughs> any clothes before. Um, well, that's a lie. I've, oh, oh, there's my cat. Um, I have done a punk jacket before, um, but it was literally just painting patches, sewing them on, adding some, some spikes to it, um, and, and that was the end of it. I didn't really do anything other than that. And this one uh, was still relatively simple, but um, I, I'm super happy with how it turned out. It's done for now. Uh, there's something about it where I'm just like, I could add more, I could do more to this, but I have to be done. <laughs> I have other projects I wanna work on. I've already started working on my Danger Days jacket, and I am almost finished with an entire other piece as well. Um, I'm making a skirt inspired by um, all, all of MCR's work that they've ever done, <laughs> their entire discography and 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 beyond. So and I'm excited to show you guys that too. Um, but right now it's time to show you the jacket. I don't really have a better angle to show you guys, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. Oh my God, get into it. Not to toot my own horn, but it's pretty sick. Okay, okay. This is what the back looks like. And here's what it looks like when I spin. E ass. Okay, I'm so obsessed with this. I don't know why I just like, <laughs> like I'm so obsessed with it. I'll give you a little bit of a tour, um, more up close, but like for now, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when I pop the collar. I uh, like what it looks like when I pop the collar just as much when it's down. Um, I, I didn't intend to have the, the collar popped, especially because I knew that I, the collar popped, sorry, not the collar popped, um, especially because I knew it was going to have buttons, but it, it kind of looks, kind of looks steezy if you ask me, I like it, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it off and I'll show you guys um, the more in-depth tour. I'm going to start off with the back, so I have the uh, cassette tape from the I'm Not Okay music video. I have the um, album art from the, the album, obviously. Um, then I have these three knives and I uh, got some splattery paint. I feel that it's a reference um, to the song, I Never Told You What I Do For A Living. Here's the rest of it. 
we have a bunch of lyrics. We have Bury Me in Black, uh, It's Not a Fashion Statement, It's a Fucking Death Wish. Uh, then we have Jet Set Life, Is Gonna Kill You. Then we have a portrait of Helena. It looks a little wonky, but it's there's no angle that I could have it where it's not gonna look wonky because it's not perfectly flat. So there's nothing I can really do about that. But I have uh, lyrics to Helena. And then I have croquet mallets from the I'm Not Okay music video, Bats, because obviously. Then I have Poison and Pills, which is uh, another song reference to uh, Thank You for the Venom. Then I have Never Come Home from Ghost of You. Then we have uh, Interlude, more lyrics from Fashion Statement. The, um, the dates that I have is the year that they became a band and then the year that uh, the album came out. And then I have, <coughs> excuse me, I have um, more lyrics to Thank You for the Venom, and then lyrics to Cemetery Drive. This is the right sleeve. I have um, rosaries, and this one has the razor blade um, pendant, and then I've painted on rosaries as well. And uh, this is uh, a reference to the lyric from the razor to the rosary. This is my patch um, for the Ring of Fire um, armband that they had. These are all, this is all the text in the I'm Not Okay music video. You would not believe how many times I had to pause that video <laughs> to get everything down and, and in the right order. This is my cat. He is uh, helping and uh, giving moral support as I film this video. This is what the front looks like and I am super into it. I wish I kind of did more with the bottom of it, but I also kind of like how blank it looks because it lets the attention rest over the top. So I have an asymmetry kind of deal with the, the lace and I have the gunmetal pyramid studs. Then I have the pansy patch and I don't know if you could tell, but it is holographic and I'm obsessed with it. Then I have the demolition lovers from the cover of the album and the background kind of texture that's uh, behind the demolition lovers on the pocket flaps. Then I have down here, all the way down here, I have uh, the in memoriam pa pamphlet or flyer rather from Helena's funeral. Then I have all these buttons. This one I got from, uh, what do you call it? Redbubble and uh, same thing with this one. This one is lyrics to Jet Set Life is gonna kill you and I love the design on it. Um, and this one is the opening to the I'm Not Okay music video. This uh, pin came from the Hip Dot slash MCR makeup collaboration. And these, oh my God, I love this one. I wanna make a million of these. Um, it's my favorite photo shoot that the band ever did. And Bob is cut out of the picture because obviously. And then we have a screenshot from the Ghosts of You music video. And there's Frank. I really wanted to get like um, pictures of their makeup because I really like the makeup from that era. And then I have another one of Gerard and that cut up face makeup. And that's the front and that's the whole jacket. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, and leave a comment, tell me what you thought and um, uh, what jacket you're excited to see next, if, if you care. <laughs> um, all my social media is in links in the description below if you'd like to check it out. And I will see you in my next video, so make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. Th again, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm, I'm super hyped about this jacket and I can't wait to show you guys the next one. See you in the next video. Bye.